on that info. We have Lane with the guns out stepping oh, up to the, the stage yeah. as well, man. You know, I don't know. They got open carry here in Madrid. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Going up against Roger Max is the guy who had a very impressive performance himself and the way he beat Daniel Mado earlier. Yes, yeah, the way he beat Daniel Mado was very, very, very well played. It was actually an interesting one because they didn't go for their main characters at first. It was yeah. kind of disgusting as to why it was. But then that that's game and it was the Shaheen versus the Jin. It looked like that may be why, because it, it just looked like Daniel Marder was really uncomfortable in that yeah. matchup. Second We're getting into it now. We're getting to our first of the two losers quarter finals. <laughs> Going to be Roger Maxis versus well, Lane. Obviously, Lane had the un, un, uh, unfavorable match early against Bambino. Wasn't too happy with how he performed, so definitely looking to change things in this game against Roger Maxis. I mean, who likes to take it? Uh, uh, I mean, the thing is, the first game was Kunimitsu versus Alistair on Infinite Stage, so... Long. Fun for the whole family, honestly. <laughs> family fun. Yeah. There we go. Let's see what nice lock yeah. on the side really gets the wild step. One, two, three, pick up. I think that's very important against characters like this. Blocking the first slide, blocking the first sweep, really establishes the mind game for the rest of the set. Nice break for the throw. Oh, that was a bit of a whiff there from Link. Look at probably a hop kick. Yeah. That's a little bit of a light lead, but back against the wall. Need to be very careful because that wall, Roger Massey is probably going to go for that um, wall bound. Yeah, he's looking for He's been hitting that all tournament. And you Ooh. just mentioned it, but. Weird interaction, nice down for two from Roger Maxis. Nice combo two, will it kill? No, goes for the Oki. Sneak four, takes it first round to Roger Maxis. Yes, I wonder how Lane's feeling because, you know, Lane feels, he said yesterday, you know, he's going to put everything into this, you know, and yep. he is really the favorite now. You know, we're in the hometown. We are in Madrid. The yeah. crowd is on his side. Honestly, being in that arena out there and listening, to the crowd cheer for Lane. They really want this guy to win. Every small thing he does gets a big pop off. So, really performing for more than just himself today. Yeah, yeah very unfortunate. He did get the duck, but nothing from it. It's not ready. That's a nice block from the shiny shoes. Down three just goes nowhere again. Nothing bad happened to Lane in that one, though. Half the round is gone. Close to even on life. Tiny life for Lane, but it can go in a moment's notice. Nice side step hop kick there from Roger Maxis. Should take this to the wall. I'm not sure this is dead though. Flip over for the Oki, down four, yes. break the ankle. And, to, and this is something that we've seen from Lane all weekend. He actually goes two rounds down a lot and he's been making these reverse sweeps. He's been making the adjustments mid-match. So let's see if we're gonna get another story of Lane making that adjustment. Wow, the chainsaw going under. Yeah, that's a little bit high crush property came for two. Did crush two, apparently. But he just crushes. Down on the infinite stage, nice standing forward. At least the standing forward is really good. I yeah. Think. One of the best standing forwards in this game is Lane. He gets round on the board and the crowd very happy about that one. Yes, we said it before. Lane seems to wake up when he's two rounds down and likes to make that reverse sweep. I mean, personally, I wouldn't do that. I would just want to get the three rounds straight, but this is his comfort zone making that comeback, making those adjustments. Down three gets the count here as well. Going to keep Roger Max's close, try and follow up. Has a nice life lead now. 43 seconds left to go in this round. Yeah, we haven't seen actually the slides come out as much now. It seems like Lane's kind of taking control. Like you said, we got the infinite now. He's just really just backing up, playing that slow game. Knows he has the life lead. Roger Maxis needs to come to him. I again, like this play from Lane. Again, after that first slide was blocked in the first round, you know, that is the stuff that does weigh on you throughout the rest of the set, the rest of the match, the rest of the Ooh. game. Full crouch mix. Goes for the wild setting too. Going to be huge damage now for Roger Maxis. What's the Oki? Lane stays down. It still has the life lead. Needs to be very careful of the rage, but I do not think he's gonna press the button. Nice patience there from Lane. Punish him with a hot kick. Like we said, we've seen this all weekend. It tends to be that Lane wakes up after the first two games, gets that download. Yeah, final round in the first game here. Nice work there from Roger Maxis. Again, goes for the Oki. Love to keep his opponent close after the situation. Downboard one, gets the flow. Yes, he's gonna, definitely gonna go for the Oki again. You know, had the infinite stage, so he wants to keep them close. Again, Lane actually tried to hop kick them, wasn't fast enough to beat the low. No punish on the hop kick at all. Regular throw broken. Lane loves to do that, but it doesn't matter. Forward, forward, three. Roger Max is taking the first game. And has some words for someone, I'm not too sure. I think that's Daniel Mardo. Possibly. I can, I can only see, I can only see like some features. <laughs> I, can see I can only see a few features of, of, of this mystery person. Yeah, I think that's the first time I've seen Lane, like he was making that reverse sweep. We've seen it all weekend. Yeah. And actually, that was good for Roger Maxis to stop that momentum from Lane because I've seen it so much over this weekend where Lane's got, he's gone that reverse sweep and he's gone on to the second game with that momentum and the crowd behind him. Yeah. And it's just really hard to come back from. So let's see if Lane can, you know, regain composure again and come out. Is he going to go for a different stage? 
Yeah. I, and once I saw the glasses, I realized it was Daniel Mado that has uh, gone up as Roger Maxis's coach. I wonder if he's going to go for an infinite stage here, yeah, because I yeah, feel like uh, the gameplay he kind of implemented when the stage changed, just, you know, that slow kind of pace, just keep away. I think it was working out a little bit more. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, characters like Alyssa Kuzmitsu, as I mean, prefer the infinite stage generally. And again, that's the thing about Devil's Pit, which is why it's such a good stage to have in the first, to, first two, first three situations, is you get to see how the walls work and the infinite stage works. Uh, they did not get around when the walls were in play. He only started to come alive when we did get to the infinite. So definitely told him what he needs to do if he wants to get on the board here and win the game. He definitely needs to the loser side. So unfortunately, loser is going out. Yeah. Competition. Ground pound. Duck on the second hit. Again, it is pretty fast, but it's something you really have to be attuned to. Sheen, the character you don't see very often. So maybe the master is just there for lane. They do have a very strong sheen in spade in Oracle 99. So nice duck there. Roger Maxis while setting two. Not going to kill with this couple. They're probably going to go for the Oki. One more guess. Always oh, goes to the mid, but lane stays down. Speaking of down, down Round one. Two. Roger Maxis takes the first round in the second game. I love that push at the end of the round. It does not let Lane get the rage drive actually, but it might have to be a big hop kick, but no, didn't he get the wild side one off? Oh, yeah, yeah, gets one two instead, but gets the wild side one two that time. Okay, and drops on the combo. I don't know why that drops a little bit of access there. At least the combo kind of get fun with a little bit of access. Break up one plus two, though, would be nice. Damage put Roger Maxis in rage as well. Let's be careful of that rage drive. That rage drive is very confirmable. Frames and no, tries to go for a sneaky little rage out self. Does not work out late, keeping the combo simple. Do you, like, do you like how he pulled the sleeve up there as well? Yeah, you know, just to get that extra, that extra flex. Yeah. Sometimes you do that extra flex. So he saw the sleeve fit for all of it. He's like, no, he needs to be up. Maybe it goes up for every rage drive he's blocked. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's like a mark. Yeah. A mark of a champion. The fist of a champion. One oh, no, hundred. I just got you out of the down for 40 seconds left in this round. Again, these two just poking away right now. Yeah. There's the slide, the first one we've seen in a while for Roger Maxis. I want to see a lot more. He, had to, he, didn't, he got the first one blocked and he went straight for the wild yeah. standing two. So he has been getting some kind of success from this. It obviously is a risk reward situation there. Three seconds left for one again, no duck. Late nice punch parry there, but nothing guaranteed. In that situation, 15 seconds left to go, goes for the boot, the hop, kick. Big, big beat. There you heard the card come out from this, and this should be the round. If you don't want to drop combo, it is. Keeps it nice and simple lane. Round four. From Spain. Five. Two rounds to one, man. You know he took a train to get him. I know, it's insane, right? <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. I was ready for that. I like that. I like this drive, Hawking Tekken, you know, no one wants to make a big commitment just yet. Went for a heavy beat for Curry, and that was a big block. Max is poking away, Lane getting a taste of his own medicine. Nice, gets the flow, good combo. Every single time Lane has stayed down when he goes for the Yoki, nice pick up though. Roger Max is needs to pick up on that. When he goes for the spike, goes for Yoki, Lane is staying down. You need to have an option ready for that. Nice block and punish there. I wonder if he's saving it for a situation where he's gonna win the round when he needs that round. You know, sometimes you wanna just put things in your back pocket. Yeah. Bring it out to later. 15 seconds left. Nice break on the throw. Lane in rage right now. Roger Max is one tickle, puts him there too. Now four, one more hit. Rage drive spent. Wow. I like it. You know, it was a Hail Mary at the end of the round. Maybe he would have dunked for the low was coming, but great patience there for Roger Max. As you see that, Roger Max is on match point. Look at this right now. Lane really needs to make something happen now. And again, starts off with the life and exactly where you do want to be in the potential final round. But nice count here there from Roger Max. Again, finally, does an option that hits grounded there. The sneak for Roger Maxis adapting to his opponent. 35 seconds left to go. And I hear the crowd coming alive for Lane right now. It's definitely working out in his favor. The duck, not the best punish. Yeah, Roger Maxis does have rage. to be very, very careful of the rage drive. I don't want Lane to be too patient in this situation. 40 seconds left. Roger Maxis in rage. One rage drive turns the tie game round. Down three. That was the jab. Oh, he's going to get a punish there. Yeah. And a side side back could be yeah. it. And it is Roger Maxis takes it. 2-0 over lane. And the thing is, he, so I, I feel like he's trying to like, uh, big, yeah, he's big up to the crowd, but it looked like, 
It looked like he was saying to the crowd, is this your boy? Nah, nah, like, nah. It looked like he was like pointing to the crowd and be like, this is your boy. Nah, he's trying to play, you know, the good guy role because now he's being, like, he wants to get the crowd on his side. He, you know, he doesn't want them to yeah. know he's moving on them. That was very, very unfortunate there for me. And I just felt that at the end in that kind of situation, you know, 